so there's a couple of stories we're going to wrap into one bundle here. Uh, Nintendo, uh, the MPD report has kind of sort of come out. I haven't been able to find any of the numbers yet, but Nintendo released a press release in regards to the MPD. So this comes directly from Nintendo, and it states that Nintendo hardware makes up two-thirds of all video game hardware sales. I have to give you an idea. Apparently, uh, over one billion hardware sales happened in the United States or North America, and uh, 600,000 of it or so was Nintendo products. The number one selling product in the U.S. during that time was Nintendo Switch. The number two selling product was the SNES Classic Edition. And they don't list, uh, Nintendo didn't really say where 3DS falls, so I'm assuming 3DS probably falls after PlayStation 4, maybe ahead of Xbox One. I don't know. They didn't really talk about it. But what's even more interesting is obviously, one, Super Mario Odyssey was the number one selling game for the month. Now, we don't know. Uh, Nintendo sometimes lists it different. The MPD itself tries to track digital and physical now. They don't just track physical, so they try to get digital as well. Uh, and Nintendo, when they said, you know, best-selling game in the past, they've talked about individual platforms, whereas the MPD will talk about, you know, all platforms combined. Uh, so there could be a multi-platform game that, you know, sold better than it across multiple platforms. We don't know, but whatever. Odyssey, we know, has been selling like crazy. We don't have any updated numbers on it yet, but uh, last we heard was 2 million in the first you know handful of days, so things are going very, very well for Super Mario Odyssey, for Nintendo in general. But here's something interesting to come off of all of that exciting news, because we could spend a whole video talking about the MPD uh, and Nintendo's performance, but I want to focus on this other story that kind of ties into the Nintendo Switch's success. Time Magazine, and I don't know how many of you guys pay much attention to Time Magazine anymore. I know I occasionally read one of them uh, when I'm at a dentist. That's usually where I see Time Magazine at. Um, I also know as a child I was subscribed to the children's version of Time Magazine, which I still think is a valuable piece of literature for kids to uh, get involved in. It kind of introduces them in a kid-friendly way to more broader news and science stuff. And I know some people talk about political agendas and all that stuff. I don't care about any of that stuff. All I care about is uh, introducing my children to uh, to the the world at large in, in a nicer way uh, than just saying, "Hey, let's go watch you know CNN or Fox News or uh, MSNBC or whatever um, for an hour tonight, or even the local news." And uh, yeah, it gets boring. I'm just telling you, even as an adult, it's boring watching the news. Uh, but Time Magazine came out. And listed their top 25 best inventions of 2017. And guess what? Nintendo Switch made the list. And that's very interesting because the Switch is a hybrid system, but it's not really the first of its kind. Um, so it's very interesting that it made the list. But here is what Time Magazine had to say about the Switch on the list. Uh, it says, when you have a great game, that moment of disappointment is when you have to stop playing says Reggie fils president of Nintendo of America. And so with the Nintendo Switch, you don't have to. In one form, it's a handheld tablet, allowing a single user to game on the go. In another, two controllers slide off from the sides, allowing multiple users to get in on the action. Then once they get home, they can slide the tablet into a docking station and continue playing on a legitimate home console. Gamers seem to like the flexibility. Nintendo has sold 7.63 million Switches since its March debut. It's expected to surpass the company's previous console, the Wii U, by the end of the fiscal year. And that was by Lisa uh, Edixisio, one of the writers at Time Magazine. Now, to put this in perspective with uh, other inventions they are listing, because, again, I just admitted that you know the Switch being a hybrid system, it, this isn't a new concept. It just hasn't been executed this well to this level of success yet. Uh, so uh, other items on the list, in fact, we'll just go over the list. A robot you can relate to, uh, you know, it's a personal robot, Jibo uh, is what it's called. I've actually seen some videos on it. It's pretty interesting, pretty neat. Um, glasses that give uh, sight to the blind again uh, th that's I don't know if that's a new invention per se but how this one does it is really interesting with cameras and injecting images into your head and it, it's really really interesting uh, it's called the eSight 3 uh, there's the guilt-free ice cream uh, which you know is like a pint of ice cream that you can literally eat the whole pint and like the maximum calories are like 280 to 300 calories uh, called halo top kind of cool um, makeup shades for every skin tone, 
uh, from Fenty Beauty. Apparently, that maybe hasn't existed before. I don't really understand that. Uh, but I'm not, I, I'm not big into makeup. Uh, mugs that heat your coffee just right. I actually remember seeing that on Shark Tank, the Ember mug. Uh, elevators that move up and down. Uh, I, I don't really understand that. Or multiple elevators. I, I don't really get it. You, you can go check out the article for that. A smarter smartphone. Uh, they're talking about the Apple iPhone X. That made the list. Um... Let me see the the Nike Pro uh, Pro uh, hijab. I I don't know. It empowers Muslim athletes. I don't really. I, I know they have to like cover their hair and stuff. So I don't. Again, um, I don't necessarily understand some of these inventions, but it makes the twenty five best inventions of the year. Uh, clinics that redefine preventative care. That uh, that's always a good. Um, a shoe engineered to boost performance. Apparently, the Adidas Futurecraft forty. Um, cars that can make electric mainstream. Basically, the Tesla Model Three. Portable and wearable breast pumps. Um, a simpler home security system, uh, craft that will probe beyond the surface of Mars. That's always good. VR headset that's on its own. They're talking about the Oculus Go in that. Uh, the do-it-yourself cooking companion, which I, I always thought the do-it-yourself cooking companion was interesting because I've seen other stuff like this. So I don't really understand why that's an invention of the year. But again, I don't understand why Switch is on there. Um, drones that put selfie sticks to shame, apparently, with the DG Spark. An air filter that zaps away pollutants, the called the Molecule. Uh, the Uber adaptable airless tires. Uh, the Michelin Vision concept. I'm, I'm, again, some of the stuff I, I haven't heard of. Um, a, a Wi-Fi router that safeguards your home, apparently, called the Norton Core. Wristbands that help uh, babies get a better start. I, oh, sure. Uh, gaming consoles that let you play anywhere. Nintendo Switch. Uh, stronger, safer football helmets. I do know about that. The Vicious Zero One. Um, the Super Sustainable Crops, that's about the Green Wave 3D Ocean Farm. Uh, very interesting concept that is starting to be proven to be reality. Um, and Fidget Spinners, which, very interesting, Fidget Spinners aren't new. They've actually been around for a long, long time. Um, mostly, you know, handed out by therapists dealing with, um, you know, certain uh, mental disorders out there and how Fidget Spinners would help calm people down. And stuff like that. So it's actually not new. It just got popular in the in the mainstream this year, um, and and really last year too. So I, I don't know. Anyways, that's our top twenty five inventions. And again, it's a very weird list um, with some things that definitely aren't new. This is I always like when people talk about the best inventions. It always bugs me, um, and maybe it's because I take things too literal. I really, really do. Uh, there's inventions to me. Like, let me just look up the definition of inventions. So, according to dictionary.com, uh, here are the definitions of invention. Um, noun, the act of inventing. Two, U.S. patent law, a new, useful process, machine, improvement, etc. that did not exist previously and that is recognized as the product of some unique intuition or genius as distinguished from ordinary mechanical skill or craftsmanship. Again, fidget spinners? Really? Um, anything invented or devised, the power or faculty of inventing, devised, and originating. Uh, I like when they u use the word, like a, a variation of the word in the definition. Um, inventing in the definition of, of invention. Just, I always hated that stuff. Something fabricated, blah, blah, blah. So, it's, uh, yeah, I guess Switch kind of falls in that definition a little bit because it didn't exist previously. Uh, and there wasn't a device on the market doing exactly what the Switch does in the way it does it. But still... Um, just nice to see the switch, uh, regardless of my, of my beef with that top 25 list. Um, it's really, really nice to see the switch getting this kind of attention. The last time Nintendo really, really got attention from like a big stream outlet, like, you know, like a time magazine, uh, was the Wii era. I mean, think about that. Not since Nintendo Wii remotes were being used by elderly people. And used for other medical stuff to help people learn how to walk better, uh, to help people, uh, you know, improve their, their range of motion, all the health benefits that they were able to get out of that technology. Not since then have we really seen Nintendo hit a mainstream level. And they're doing this with a system that primarily, right now anyways, is targeting a more adult-oriented audience. And here they are making the top 25 inventions list on time. It's just crazy to me. Crazy sales, 
on the back of some of the best games ever made, you know, with, <laughs> with with a convenience factor that many adults are finding extremely appealing, a killer marketing scheme, tons of commercials at the right times on the right channels and in the right places on the internet, and an awesome, you know, just an awesome lineup. Third party support now jumping on board. You know, just got Rocket League today, like awesome, uh, just great stuff happening here. It's a good time to be a Nintendo fan. This is a renaissance, if there you know ever was one. And man, let's just enjoy it while it lasts, because it never lasts. But this is this is gonna be a fun ride for the next three, four years. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Jans from Nintendo Prime. And if you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. I do want to give a quick reminder uh, down in the description below. We do have our Nintendo Switch. Triple A three pack giveaway, giving away copies of Doom, LA Noir, and Skyrim to one lucky winner. We have a gleam.io link in the description. There is still time to enter. The contest ends on the last day of the month. Anyways, folks, if you like this video, like it, dislike it, dislike it. I'll catch you in the next one.